The state's top legal officer is taking aim at one West Texas lizard. These critters might be small, but there's a big legal battle over whether or not they're at risk of extinction. Lily Beth Vias has the story. A decades long back and forth debate over this nearly two and a half inch reptile. But the dunes sagebrush lizard is, is a uh, is a specialist in nature. The dune sagebrush lizard can only be found in southeastern New Mexico. And just four adjacent counties in West Texas. So that's, that's the only place in the entire world that exists. As of June this year, this lizard was classified as an endangered species by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The service said the primary threats to the lizard include the loss of habitat associated with oil and gas development. This week, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has argued the classification is the current administration's unlawful misuse of environmental law as an attempt to weaken the Texas oil and gas industries. It's part of the lawsuit against the Biden administration and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, accusing the classification as a violation of the Endangered Species Act. During the designation earlier this year, the service shared the lizard inhabits 4% of the 86,000 square miles of the Permian Basin. It also said oil and gas companies could use horizontal drilling to reach deposits without disrupting the lizard's habitat. This latest move from the state's top legal officer, siding with the stances of others such as the Texas Railroad Commission and the Texas Land Commissioner. For News West 9, I'm Lily Beth Vias.